win. I'm in the neon garage. Want to know how I got into the neon garage? I was I arrived at the track around noon or 12:30. Fan zone was open, so I decided to go walk around the fan zone while I waited for the gates to open so I could get to the grandstands for truck practice, truck qualifying, Xfinity practice, and one of the booths that was there was a NASCAR slash Pennzoil fan experience. I go in there, it's like, hey, enter your email for a chance to spin the wheel to win race tickets for Sunday. So I put in my email, go to spin the wheel, and there was like, five or six options. There was uh, spin again, winner's choice, or spinner's choice, track pass for Sunday, weekend garage pass, LVMS merch, or Sunday race tickets. So I spun the wheel and I got the spin again. So I spun it again, hoping to get Sunday race tickets. I got winner's choice and I was like well my two options are either Sunday track pass or weekend garage passes I may or may not be here for Sunday but I will be here today and I might be here tomorrow so I decided to go with the weekend garage pass and I'm currently in the garage, in the neon garage. Tech inspection is going on for the Cup Series. Larson was just in there getting uh, weighed. These cars, are, this is the first time the cars have been unloaded from the haulers. They're doing their techs for tomorrow's practice. We're gonna go down to the pit lane. We're gonna watch truck practice.
over Tyler Ankrum in the 18 for McAnally Heavyweight Racing is quickest, followed by Christian Nickus, his teammate. And then it's Kyle Busch, that's your top three. Rounding out the top five is Tanner Gray and the 25 of Ty Dillon for Rack New World Racing. It's an interesting top five here. Qualifying is next for these trucks. And then it's Xfinity practice. And then I have to go pick up a lesson. Mason Massey, who just finished his qualifying lap. Yeah. You just ran practice beforehand. How was the wind like going just around the track? Uh, it was heavy. I could feel it uh, really down the front straightaway. Right here, kind of pulled me up a little bit. The RPMs are dropping down the front straightaway. So, uh, a lot of wind today, so we'll see how it is in the race, though. Was it any better for qualifying or was it worse? A little better at qualifying. It depends on how you go out, how the gust is going to be. Uh, a little bit of a crap shoot, but it was okay. I think we have a good race truck tonight, so we'll see what happens. Best of luck for you tonight. Yeah, good. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, I'm joined here with Parker Retzloff, driver of the number 31 for Jordan Anderson Racing in the Xfinity Series. We've had a good run of top five finishes the last couple of weeks. Are you looking to carry that momentum this week? Yeah, I mean, I think it all starts from uh, bringing a good car here. I think the team's worked really hard on it. We're just going to try and keep the momentum going. We need stage points, so I think what's hurt us a little bit this year. I feel like we should be second or third points or six right now, so we need some stage points. So I think that's our goal, and then you get a good finish and keep building on it this year. And between last year to so far this year, has there been any growth and improvement from Jordan Anderson Racing? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been lots of uh, work for the simulator stuff and just making new people, making changes. So I think that there's been a lot of growth in the team. I think that we'll see that once we get to these racetracks, mile and a half, stuff like that. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.
Williams is one of the slower cars right now. So I'm a little concerned about Josh Williams considering he's in a colleague entry car. I'm a little worried about Shane Van Gisbergen as well because he was slow. He was slow in practice. I think he was 33rd quickest uh, in practice. So I'm a little nervous about those two drivers right now. But we'll see how qualifying goes. And, and a lot of these cars aren't in qualifying trim. So some of these cars might be in race trim and they're just being ran for qualifying. So we'll see how the race goes tomorrow. But I am currently getting ready to leave the track to go pick up Melissa and then we'll be back at the Speedway for the Craftsman Truck Series Victoria's Voice for Found uh, Foundation 200 here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Alrighty, girlfriend acquired, but on today's episode of me being a dumbass, we arrived at the track after picking her up. We get, we get parked. We're about to walk off to get our tickets scanned. Did you lock your door? Yeah. Shit! I locked my keys in the car. Because <laughs> I'm so smart, and it's not like I've done this four fucking times. Five, probably. This is now probably the fifth. Hell, this maybe even the six. sixth. Yeah. Jinx. Jinx. Um. So, we had to walk up to the information desk and it's like, is there any way to call somebody to get them to come down and help me? Because I locked my keys in the car. We can definitely call someone and we'll get a, pick, a tow truck. So a tow truck came, opened the door with a little hook thing to unlock the door, grabbed my keys. We're now heading to the racetrack. It is not six o'clock yet. Yeah. We did, however, miss driver introductions, which yeah. I know you're not overly bothered with it, but neither am I, but at the same time, I kind of am. True. So now we're gonna walk back the direction that we came, back all the way over fucking there, get our tickets scanned, and watch the truck race. And hopefully that's a much better show so we can forget about this adventure. So the 41 of Bailey Curry just spun out from underneath the 77 of Chase Purdy, back to into the wall off of turn number two, lap two. They're currently sitting there working on that 41 truck for Bailey Curry. Rajak Ruth obviously lost the lead on lap one. Stage one is complete. Ty Majeski is your stage winner. Kyle Busch 
after the Bailey Curry spin, restarted second, took the lead, and led for like what, four or five laps? And then just progressively fell back as Carter was getting tight in turns three and four. It was just getting progressively tighter and tighter as the run went on. So he is currently, he came out of the pits second, finished the stage in eighth. So we got some stage points there for the seven truck. But obviously won the first two stages of this race. Corey Heim, who qualified 23rd, is up there and was trying to battle for the lead. So there's a lot of drivers right under the plate, right under and within each other. So it's gonna be a really good race for stage three. We'll see how it goes from here.
Alrighty, well that was the Craftsman Truck Series Voice or Victoria Voice Foundation 200 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Raja Carruth is your winner. Tyler Ankrum was second. Corey Heim was third. Taylor Gray was fourth. Don't know who was fifth. No idea who was fifth. Didn't really catch it. Uh, but overall, that was a really good race. It was one of the better truck races that has happened here in Vegas in a really long time because it was there was action all over the place it was three four wide racing at times the leaders were all right within each other no one really ran away with it um Raja Carruth ended up kind of running away with it towards the end but Tyler Ingram was closing the gap little by little that sounds like shit. He was uh, closing the gap little by little. Uh, just ran out of time. So, there you go. So, overall, it was a really good race. I'm, I'm glad for Carruth. I'm, I'm really happy that he won. Thank you. Really happy that he won. This is going to be a popular win for a long time. This is going to be really one of the more popular wins in the truck series. Um, as now, Carruth is the third African-American driver to win in any level of NASCAR. Alongside Wendell Scott and Bubba Wallace, who's won six times in the truck series and now twice in the cup series so that's really high and prestigious for Caruth, and i think this win is going to be one of the more popular wins he got it done in vegas and in my honest opinion Caruth has got a bright future ahead especially if he still keeps that hendrick partnership because hendrick has put in his own personal money to fund Caruth, because he thinks that Caruth is going to be the next star. And do I think he's a future Cup Series champion? Not yet. Do I think he's a truck champion? If he keeps running the way he did tonight, and he has been through the last few weeks, there's definitely a good chance that Caruth could be a truck series champion. So, I'm really excited to see what Caruth does throughout the week. Tomorrow is the Xfinity race. It is the the Leuna race. That's it. The Leuna. It's 300 miles. Despite the fact they didn't put 300 in the race name, which I find a little weird. But tomorrow's the Xfinity race. I think it was... Crap, who's on pole? I can't remember who's on pole now. Please announce me. I can't remember who's on pole. Um, I know Chandler Smith is starting second. I know that because we were listening to his post-qualifying interview as we were driving to the track. Um, I'm really excited to see what Shane Van Gisbergen does. Why are you revving? You're stuck in traffic. <laughs> really excited to see what Shane Van Gisbergen does tomorrow as this will be his first true mile and a half race i know last week was his mile and a half debut but it was on a super speedway package and that race was kind of shit as you kind of heard my rant earlier in the week so i'm really excited to see what he does uh this week uh he's not starting overly great he's kind of smart back in the back of the field so we'll see how well he does how well he can adjust um but that's pretty much it for this episode if you liked it hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload again <laughs> and as always i'll see you guys in the next episode peace